The Northwest Health Department Emergency Medical Services have been deployed to Tlapeng Village outside Mahikeng to investigate an outbreak of beetle known as Kukwane Yamulelo. Residents alerted authorities after noticing huge amounts of these insects inside their homes. They say the insects secrete a liquid substance which burns the skin and leaves it with boils. St. Leng Lehihi visited the area. We're here in Tlapeng village on the outskirts of Mahigeng in the northwest province. Residents here say they've been terrorized by a beetle that is actually causing them pain and unrecognized uh, 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 sores. They've explained to us that this beetle uh, started arriving here in this area straight after the heavy rains and has actually terrorized many in this community. This beetle, if I can request my colleague, Mr. Rejoice Moses, to zoom in, it is colloquially known as Kukwanayamul. Apparently, when this beetle lands on you, it will then excrete some sort of urine substance which will then burn your skin and cause some scabs. The residents here are unable to understand where it emanates and what has caused this influx of this beetle. Uh, we're joined by one of the residents here who first alerted us and health authorities, Lorraine Murule. Mel Lorraine, thank you very much for your time. Just tell us in your view. When did this beetle start to show itself and how has it affected residents? You know, this beetle started around 2016. That was for the first time that we, we saw it and uh, we alerted the authorities, they managed to come and fumigate. But then since 2016, the outbreak started again on Monday, this Monday. So we alerted the authorities to come and assist us because the main concern is during the holidays our clinics do not open as well as the weekends and uh, the MEC for health has clearly indicated that before you go to the hospital you have to via through the clinic so the main concern was that the community couldn't get any health assistance they couldn't get any medical assistance due to the closure of the clinics. But when it lands on you, this kind of beetle, it will secrete some form of, uh, um, should I say, liquid or urine. And then from there, you will end up having a some sort of a bubble as if you've been bent. And then from there, your skin will peel off. Well, we've seen a few since our visit here. You say that, you know, the numbers are not as extreme as when it is nighttime. They seem to be nocturnal beings. Yes, uh, they, they, they are more during the night. It's like they are being attracted by light. And uh, during the day, they are minimal. But at night, it's a lot of them. You can't even sleep at night. Thank you for your time, Melorraine. It is clear from what she said there that the community of Tlapeng is really struggling uh, to a large degree to deal with this beetle. But we've seen the intervention of the Department of Health, and I'm joined by the spokesperson, Tebukhole Khetwani, who's going to elaborate for us what is the department to do when a situation like this arises. Rele Khetwani, thank you very much for your time. You are here in Tlapeng as the department. What are your views about this beetle? Yes, indeed, the department uh, is here. The MEC, Madoda Sambat, has sent a team here that is investigating this uh, beetle. We have established that uh, it is not the tumbu fly like we initially thought. This is a, a, a beetle that uh, seems to be biting people, and then they tend to have some sort of a bubble sore, uh, which uh, peels off. But uh, also very very important we have realized that it heals very fast on itself so it's not uh, something that is fatal um, we realize that it's, a, it's an issue of a change of seasons every change of seasons there are different types of uh, insects that comes up and uh, when it's hot and humid like this you will see this kind of uh, beetles but we are urging the community to take precaution particularly at night because they complain a lot that at night they seem to be prevalent to make sure that uh, the households are clean but uh, when they go to bed they must make sure that the room is uh, doomed they must apply doom in the room so that uh, they don't have any insects lying around but also make sure that the bl in the blankets there is no visible uh, insects in the blankets do we know of any other areas apart from Tlapeng that may be affected? 
up to so far it's only clapping and this um, confirms where the previous cases we had uh, in clapping in 2016 uh, a similar incident happened so it's it's it says something about the area in terms of uh, humidity uh, that is here Thank you very much for your time, Rale Khetwani. Uh, from the sentiments that have been shared by the Department of Health, it is absolutely paramount that with seasonal change, we ensure that we use the correct insecticides to protect ourselves from these type of insects. For now, back to you in studio.